Hey, I've just finished, started the first uh, seven chapters of uh, The Library of the Dead by T.C. Kuchu, uh, number one in the Edinburgh Knights series, uh, and so far the only one, though apparently there's another one at the publishers getting prepared, uh, where uh, we're in Edinburgh. Edinburgh in a future where it seems like cars are, for the most part, not a thing, that the... the the uh, roads have been ripped up, that uh, metals have been scavenged, and we are following Ropa on her deliveries. And it turns out she's a message delivery person, but uh, a ghost stalker who is taking messages from the dead to the living and back again, uh, and but is getting paid for it. This is being very pragmatic. Um, she does things, this isn't a charity, she's uh, living with her grandmother, who I believe is probably from Zimbabwe originally, um, but is getting on in years and just needs her medicines and, you know, they're living hand to mouth and she's quit school um, to take being a ghost stalker, uh, a part of which seems to be just like, you know, it wasn't for her, but another thing is just to support her family. And um, we see her kind of perform this for uh, a couple who are like, you know, she, can she actually do this? She doesn't even look like she's more than 12. Uh, she can indeed do this. She gets a message from uh, a body that has been, uh, a fellow who's been dead and buried in their back for, you know, hundreds of years. Um, and, you know, so agrees to like leave them alone if, uh, they give give him, give him a I think it's a Presbyterian um, funeral. None of this papish stuff. Um, she gets paid for it. She um, is going through the going through the woods home and gets nabbed by a couple of cops who extort all her money away from her. You know, saying like, oh well, you know, if you don't, you know, it's like I think you're resisting arrest. I, I think you're threatening us. Oh, it's, you could really be in jail for a long time. Here, you know, by the time, you know, anyone would get around to you on stuff. So I was like, fuck. So she gives them the money. So the cops who are, you know, they, they're, they're on horseback now and, and on foot. And that makes it a million times worse than when they were uh, in cars um, for generally harassing people. Uh, she's got a little brother, brother, sister, who she drops off at school the next day. She's got a grand, you know, the grand who isn't can't do this stuff anymore, can't get out, uh, is going kind of blind, but can still do knitting and crafting. We see her hunting, she saw, they spot a squirrel and they, she kills the squirrel with like a little slingshot because that's another handy thing. We're definitely working in a world here where people are really working hand to mouth. Um, though she notes that like, yeah, there's charities set up in places so like some middle-aged lady can feel better about herself, but it doesn't make any goddamn actual different good to good to them and she's not taking charity so there's that um there is a ghost that is like being persistent because she says my child my child it's they they they, they my child went missing they took my child somebody took my child and it's like it's and she's persistent and pop ups again it's like you know they've taken my child there it's gone missing and we've had somebody else mentioned that somebody's kid has gone missing as well. So we're, we're getting a lot of child abductions seem to be happening around here. But so far, she's pretty resolute. Like, if you don't have the money, I'm not interested. Not my business. Uh, even though she's probably not kind of connected to things. There's also some uh, teen ex ectoplasm guy who uh, desperately wants to send love poems to his unrequited love who didn't love him in real life and is probably not going to be interested in him as a, kind of a jelly mold in uh in the in the afterlife and it's like if you don't have the money i'm not sending on anything to, i'm not passing anything on your ectoplasmic uh you know soppy love poems to to some high school girl who has no fucking interest in you so yeah yeah that is the start of um the library of the dead number one in the edinburgh nights which is kind of an interesting you can see this being kind of a post, you know, post-industrial world. Something's happened, that things have gone south, which could be very non-supernatural, you know, just we don't have the resources anymore. So, yeah, yeah, 
that's the start of uh, that. Um, T.C. Huchu is um, is also published under some uh, another name, Tendi. I'm gonna have to look up his his or her or their name. I'll go with their name at the moment because I don't know uh, what what particular um, gender they are. Uh, who was born in Zimbabwe? So, uh, but I think is well. I guess we'll see. Is definitely basing this book in a very in a semi-recognizable Edinburgh, uh, and uh, it's being narrated by uh, a woman, uh, definitely using good Edinburgh Edinburgh accent. So this is someone who's like, yeah, maybe from Zimbabwe, but I'm talking with a good Scottish accent, <laughs> or you know, my my family's may have come from Zimbabwe originally, but I'm I'm. I've got a good Scott accent now. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later.